All right, today I've got a really interesting experiment for you to try. It is the surface tension magnetic compass. So let's say you're lost in the woods and all you have is a staple of magnet and a cup of water. This could potentially save your life. So first we need a nice kitchen magnet. This is mine, hope you get the grammar joke, but there's the magnet on the back and I need a staple. So I'm gonna take this staple and with your parents' help, please don't stab yourself. You have to gently bend this out to make it a straight, flat piece of metal. I've already got one done here. And then what you do is you want to align the charges in the metal by rubbing it back and forth in the same direction on a magnet. So just do that for a little bit. And now here's the tricky part. You have to, you know that metal would sink, right? on the water, it's not going to float because metal is heavier than water, or I should say more dense than water. But if I just drop one in, boop, it sinks. But you can see I already practiced here and got one to rest. Now this is very tricky. I have to very, very gently get close and drop. And there you go. Now if you notice, they're both pointing in relatively the same direction, and these are pointing towards magnetic north. Now watch the video of uh, this part with my phone with the compass pointing to geographic north and then as I try to move them uh, notice that they keep orienting themselves to point north on one end. So I really hope you got a chance to try this. It's really neat. You can see those are not floating. Those are resting. Look at how they're pressing in on that skin of the surface tension of the water. Pretty cool.